up everybody welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a minute since I posted no, the last video I posted was about the update to the Jaclyn Hill situation but now I'm coming at you with another video and this video is probably not gonna have the most um, glowing talk because I'm be talking about this this the Juvia's Place foundation and concealer so um, I purchased the shades uh, 430 Rio and then 435 Punta Cana and the concealer shade I got is a 16 so um, I purchased these about I purchased this a couple of days after it was released and so um, I have tried this foundation multiple times and I have decided to relegate this foundation and concealer to the winter time and here's why so if most of you don't know I live in Texas and specifically Houston again you know my name is Kelly H town so you know it is what it is and um, I've tried, I want to say I've worn this foundation about four or five times. And each time I have worn this foundation and concealer, the concealer has started to crease on me literally um, not even a minute after applying it. And that was even after setting it with powder. It just didn't work like it, it was it was creasing so I had kind of relegated this to like this was just a nope um, but the foundation goes on beautifully at first and for majority of the day it holds up relatively well but by the time that I get home and I'm looking in the mirror to kind of see you know hey is holds up pretty good the foundation specifically on my particular on my face it started cracking around here and around here like you could see that the foundation had shifted like and I mean literally shifted um I know like for most like like I'll say this this has a this foundation has a similar learning curve to the Beauty Bakery cake mix. I love the foundation at first, but net as of recently, I want to say about maybe about a, a couple of months back, I started noticing as I dropped one of the foundation bottles, I noticed that it was not wanting to sit on my skin like it wanted to move and adjust. And that's exactly what this foundation, this foundation now a little goes a long way. This is a very full coverage foundation. So the full coverage claim is very, very true. but. This, this foundation takes a little bit of work to get an even coverage. Like in my honest opinion. Like it doesn't go on super easy like a lot of videos make it out to be. Again, this is nothing against Juvia's Place. I have all the love in the world for Juvia's Place. I own every single eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place. I love their products. But this particular product for me during this season doesn't really work. If I were to use this during the winter where there's, you know, no heat, no humidity, I think this will work a little bit better. I generally, it's very rare that I have foundations that just don't work. But for me personally, this particular foundation does not work during any hot weather situations for on my skin and I have combo oily skin it just doesn't work so um I've so for the most part I have relegated this particular foundation 
to my winter foundations and it's and trust me it's the same thing for the beauty bakery cake mix i relegated it to a winter foundation i rarely it's very rare that certain foundations just don't work i think the one time i think i've or concealers probably the only one that just didn't work for me and it works for a lot of people apparently is the makeup revolution concealer like everybody's like oh this is great it creased on me instantly pretty much like this one now I like the consistency of this concealer but for my under eyes like it was cre it was creasing before I could even set it so this one this one is just like a I would probably use as I drop everything <laughs> I would probably use that as like if I didn't want to use my P. Louise that day, I would probably relegate it to a base for eyeshadow. I'm just going to be honest. It, it just doesn't really work for me. But um, this is definitely for me a winter foundation. When this goes on and it's set, it's it's a beautiful finish. It, it, really, it really is. It's a really nice finish. But as it goes on through the day... It likes to move and it likes to move and separate so I know for me I would probably have to set this area really well and I and one thing that I realized with this particular foundation I cannot use a pore filling primer underneath I can't use it I use the um what's the one I use I use the um Benefit Professional, and then I also use the Maybelline No Blur um, Pore Primer Stick. It don't like it doesn't like pore it doesn't like pore fi pore filling primers. It works with just like a hydrating primer. It works just fine, and it'll stay on relatively all day with little to no issue. But in this particular weather, so like we're in the summertime right now here in Texas this foundation is not it this is probably going to be a really nice winter foundation if I use this with a light hand so um I wish I could come with a, a super positive review about this product but just in my honest opinion on, on me I don't know it could work great for everybody else but on me personally this particular foundation I have to relegate it to a winter foundation personally so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you know what you got to do click that subscribe button hit that bell getting the notifications and until next time guys deuces